Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the OpArt plugin from the Andrews plugin series volume 1. It's for Photoshop, uh, PC, uh, it's 32 bit. It's available on the graphicextras.com website. Now I've already just uh, done a few effects with the, uh, the plugin, so it's just to show uh, the sort of OpArt designs you can create. And I'm just going to now go to the plugin itself, filter, it's in the pattern. Op art, right? Just brings up and the default mode. Very simple. Basically, it's just straight lines. Not very exciting in that respect. But of course, you can actually modify it using these different settings here, and you can actually tweak the settings. So it goes. You can just go through all the different settings if you wish. You can, instead of just apply changing them here, you can actually just like, click the tweak and just till you hit upon one. There's a design smooth that slightly Make a slightly smooth design of course you can continue to modify it further just there so at this point you can say well that's the design i want i can click ok at that point so you apply the effect very intense design just going to go back now to the pattern pop art there's other settings there's the advanced section and that's basically got different factors which can modify the result even more different options for the wave, sort of squeeze the design, break the design up, as well as the other designs that are actually input to design. Again, if you watch, you can actually go through all the various options here, click wave, maybe not always so effective sometimes, some designs are better than others. Also you can use the extreme, which basically just does very extreme settings of different things, so you can explore really radical, weird pattern op art designs in very quick succession just going to reset that now set that back to 50 percent you can also modify the color so if you uh, want a sort of red design just do that or you can use different blends so it actually blends in with the underlying image so you maybe create more blue or gradient effects Anyway, it's a very good way of creating very abstract designs. Once you've actually applied all these, you can actually, again, you can do additional things like warp in the, uh, the effect. You can also mix with the underlying image in different ways. Also, you can apply post-processing effects such as additional gradients, which I'm just going to quickly show. So I'm just going to... So you can create... Click OK at that point. Once you've done that, of course, the effect... I mean, it's... Uh, not particularly your part, but uh, you can certainly create very abstract designs in very quick time with this plugin. Of course, the uh, plugin can be used in uh, RGB, but it can be used in other color modes. So you can go to the image mode, CMYK, etc. You can use it in lab as well as grayscale. Also, you can use it in different channels. So you can apply the op art effect in one channel, say in red, and create another effect, say in blue or the green channel. Just going to quickly show you that window channel and I'm just going to bring up the, just going to click the red channel filter pattern op art I'm going to reset it I'm not going to go with uh, anything uh, name. just create a quick effect there warp it slightly blend it in there click OK now the effect is just applied to the red channel, so if you go to the RGB, you can actually just see the red channel has been changed, green and blue are untouched. So anyway, that's a quick example of the OpArts plugin, but it uh, can be used to create thousands of different designs, which of course can be further modified by other effects in Photoshop or in PSP, etc.